I purchased a, a new range and I want to actually convert from a three chord to four chord. This meaning that I would like to have the ground separated from the neutral. So the oven or the range arrived with three wires as you can see. One, two and three. These two wires are the hot wire which means between these and these are 220 volt. This is the neutral. This is meaning that the, that the voltage from here, from here to here which is actually half of the voltage from here to here which is 110 volt. Okay, so now if you can look very carefully you can see here that the ground which is green here is connected to the neutral. This is the old approach which is not allowed today. Today the ground should be disconnected from the neutral and it's only the neutral is really grounded in the switch box. So I'm going to show you how to connect a fourth cord instead of a three cord. So now I will show you how to connect a four wire. It's actually called four prong range replacement cord in a proper way instead of three wires. The first thing I need to do is I need to actually disconnect the connection between the ground and the neutral. Remember, the old system, the neutral was grounded here. As you can see here, the short. Okay? Let me explain to you in electrical meaning what does it mean, a short. If I'm going to connect here and here, you're going to see zero. That means zero resistance. That this should be infinite. So I'll show you what happens when I disconnect this strip of metal that connect the ground between the ground and the neutral. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect it by unscrew the nut. I unscrew the ground, the ground usually it's, it's green. So I just put it back in. It was not necessary to remove it because I had to cut it. To cut the, stri the strip that uh, is connected the ground with the neutral. Now it's not connected anymore. And I have to put it back. To put the nut back. And I'm closing it. You have to close it tight because uh, the amperage here is 50 amps. It's actually 40, but it's enough. So it has to be very tight. That's it. Verify that everything is uh, okay now. I'm going to take the neutral here and I'm going to, to touch here the ground, and I can see it's infinite. If you look here, you can see that. The resistance between the neutral and the body is infinite. That's what it should be. Um, first thing, I'm going to remove the knockout. Taking this plier. That's it. Now I'm going to use this conduit. You can see I have to use it because if I'm not going to use it, it will scratch the cable. 
that going inside. So that must be used. And I'll show you how to use it. So I decided to remove this piece, this metal piece, because it's easy to work with and uh, to illustrate what I'm doing. So as you can see, there is a steel piece of metal here. And I'm just going to go and get it with this plier. So it's clear now. So you can see it's clear. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this heel and the nut should be closed here so close it tight you can see what's going to happen here the cable will come from here here is the cable, this cable or we'll call it a cable cord Will come from here that will protect it from the metal it's not going to be in any way scratch and it will get a, it uh, if it will scratch if we get a shortage in there it's going to be a, a fire hazard i'm using this plier to even strongly close it as you can see it's closed and i'm going to attach it back here with the two screws Now it's actually attached to the body of the range. So that's the neutral, the hot, one hot, the black, the red, and the ground. Now I'm going to close I'm going to close these two screws in order to attach this cable to to this conduit. The conduit hold the cable strong but also protect the cable from the metal here that it won't scratch the cable and will short it that will create fire and a, and a very big risk so you can see here there are already three nuts that prepare for this connection to be connected inside which means the red going to the red the black to the black and the neutral to the neutral. So this is the three nut that I have to use in order to connect it. It's three wires. After we connect the three wires, I'm going to connect the ground first and you can see you have two holes here, one and two. I choose to go to this hole, it doesn't matter because it really needs to be attached to the body, to the metal of the range. It must be attached tight. So after I uh, connect the ground, I just want to verify that uh, the ground is really have conductivity with the metal. So I'll touch here, 
This is a ohm meter, and I'm touching here, and you can look at it, it's zero. If I touch the neutral, it should be infinite. If I touch the hat, it should be infinite, and the other hat should be infinite. And between two hat, it also should be infinite and infinite. So it's good because the ground is a conductivity, which means it's actually the resistance of the ground is zero. The body is zero. So now I'm going to put the, the three nut that we supplied. Just going to put them in. And I'm going to attach them with the key. You really need to verify that it's tight because if it's not going to be very tight, it's 50 amps, so it might not going to have a very good conductivity, and it might it might going to see a, a problem in electricity. We completed to connect all the four wires between the two hard, the neutral, and the ground, and we verified that the conductivity with the ground with the body. Is perfect so now we're going to actually put the cover back you can see that's the four wires the four pins here and uh, just going to close the box So after the cover is set, I have to use the two screws here to attach the cover to the range. This is the four pin that you see here, that is the ground, this is the two hot. Between this to this is 220 volt, and this is the neutral. So between this to this is 110, 110. So that uh, the conductivity between the ground, which is this is the ground, to the body, if you can look at it, it's zero. That should be like that. And the conductivity between the neutral to the body now is infinite. Okay, so the neutral really going to be grounded in the box switch. On the switch box, sorry.